it's about six o'clock in the afternoon. I'm doing something I don't normally do. When it's about six o'clock, I'm generally editing or getting ready for dinner or something like that. Rarely do I go out at night. But today, there's a special occasion going on. I'm taking the Hellcat Jeep Cherokee out to Thousand Oaks, and I'm going to the grand opening of the new AMG dealership that's happening out there. My good friend Scott has been working on this for quite some time. I think the place is gonna look pretty cool. I don't have a Mercedes to take there. I, I did have the Fisker, but I thought this Jeep is going back tomorrow. I gotta take it out. And since it's 700 horse, it's pretty fun to drive.
thousand oats. A thousand oats took three years to make. Mm -hmm. Right? You might, you must be tired. We had a lot of work. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mercedes has AMG as their performance division. That is correct. Right? What's the benefit of having its own dealership here? It's a privilege. Yeah. We can. We're the first one in the United States to have a standalone AMG. Wow. That is cool. Yeah. The, uh, the 2019, the G63. G63. My name's on that car. Okay. You yeah. got it. So come over and take a That sounds good. Okay. Always have a good time with these guys. Uh, if you need a Mercedes, there's only one place on the planet to go, and it's right here. AMG Thousand Oaks. Our minor own business, and Rob Paulson just manages to walk in. Hello. We're our favorite people here. Oh, my goodness. Incredible. And uh, we finagled you away from BMW. We did. Now Mercedes. I write a new uh, three-letter car, AMG, which AMG. stands for Absolutely Magnificent Grins. <laughs> the, sorry, the best car oh, yeah. I've ever had. This gentleman right here was kind enough to sell me at a remarkably wonderful price, I might add. Yeah. A AMG 2017 C63S Edition 1 Coupe. Fantastic. Which is crazy fireball. All right. Well, we're going to have some fun on the vlog coming up. Yeah. Uh, thanks to these guys. So, thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. All. you guys. Okay, I know, I know. My hair is out of control. I I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm gonna do something. Being grateful and expressing gratitude is two very different things. Being grateful is an internal process. It's something that you, you feel and that permeates out of you. But expressing gratitude is about, about giving. It's about being able to connect with someone in some way. And both are very important, they're, they're, they're crucial for gratitude to be able to work its properties. But many people can be grateful, but they they don't necessarily um, express gratitude all that well. They don't necessarily think that they need to say thank you or to say uh, how much they appreciate things in certain ways. And you can't necessarily blame them for that. It's that the reason that people don't express those things is because they're, there's a lot going on up in their heads. It's not that they're not grateful. It's just that they don't remember necessarily uh, uh, to express it. But I'm here. I'm here to, to tell you the tremendous value and the power of expressing gratitude. Because gratitude is all about expansion. It's all about taking something and, and blowing it out and making it larger, even larger than, than you think possible. And that requires faith. It requires faith to be able to, to, to take these leaps and not know where they're going to land. And you have to say yes to those things. You have to say yes to most things, almost everything, and in any way that you can. The only reason that we don't say yes is because we're afraid. We're, you know, we're not sure exactly how things are going to work out, what's going to happen. So if I can leave you guys with anything as this vlog wraps up, is feeling grateful and being grateful for the things that you have in your life and the things that you do, always important. And that's an important thing to express. But truly expressing gratitude towards other people for the small things, the little things that people do for you. Make it a habit. Build a habit that you express that gratitude. Try to remind yourself to be present and to express that and you'll be amazed. You'll be flabbergasted. You'll be euphemismized at the amazing things that will happen. Thanks for watching, people. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Be sure to join us on all that social hobbly hobbly gobbly gobbly. And by the way, Wheels and Waves for July is already scheduled July 15th. And this month's coffee sponsor is Paul and Sarah Grisanti of MalibuRE.com. <laughs> the show's gonna be freaking cool. You know it! <laughs>